once you begin seeing things we never saw, it led Americans to reach for things they never had. <laughs> Who would think that in 2009 you'd have two black men uh, at the pinnacle of political power in this country? That fact is a testament to struggle, perseverance, and opportunity. And no one person can fulfill the kinds of challenges that we are facing. She is deputy director of Campus Progress, a project of the Center for American Proce Progress. Please welcome this young sister, Erica Williams. Tell me that y'all get this. Tell me that you understand this. Tell me this was not a one-time thing. Tell me it wasn't just about wearing the T-shirt and Will I Am and the music and the hip hop. Tell me it wasn't just about that and that's all gone now because he won and young people returned to business as usual. Mm. Tell me I'm wrong about this. You were wrong. All right, wrong. thank you. <laughs> uh, well, and I, I find that question interesting because I've been asked that so often. And it's, it's, it's the equivalent in my mind of asking African Americans if we voted for Barack Obama because he was black. It's, it's relatively, and not, not the question that you pose, it's mm -hmm. a common question, sure. but the logic behind that is that young people don't think, mm. that we don't understand the issues, that we voted because of Facebook. Mm. That's not the case. I didn't vote because of Facebook. I voted for the exact same reasons that hopefully the majority of the people in this room voted for, that the issues are impacting us in a way that we've never seen before and can't stand to have it continue. That's why we voted. So with that being the underlying assumption, then no, we're not done. It wasn't a t-shirt, it wasn't a song, it was life. It was a principle that says something needs to change and we need to be a part of it. So how can we be a part of it as young people now? What, where, where is our mind? And there's been a rhetoric since the campaign that young people now, you got out and you voted, and first of all, that's an assumption that all young people voted. Yes, uh, nearly 25 million young people did vote. That's a 55% increase over 2004. But if you actually analyze who those young people are, those are predominantly young people who had formal education. Mm. So there's still an aspect of our community as young people, and in particular young people of color, that has yet to be engaged. So number one, that work isn't done. But number two, after we're talking about, okay, so here we are, we're engaged, the rhetoric post-election has been, well, now it's all about service. Now go out and build a house. Now go out and wash one another's feet. I think that's wonderful. But for young people of color, that's the legacy of our community. We've been doing that for generations, right? Right? Pardon me if I don't wash your feet, but try to actually go figure out how you can buy some shoes and get you medical care so I can fix your toe. Okay, we're going to take this metaphor there. Service is the rhetoric that people are giving young people and pigeonholing us into that being the role. No, my service is taking my brown face to my senator's office with a list of demands and having a million young people behind yes, me. Yes, yes. And talking about environmental justice. Yes, okay? And talking about increasing the Pell Grant. See, what service yeah, will do, on, service man. will help prepare young people for college, but it won't make it any more affordable. Service can help train and prepare people for jobs, but it won't create jobs where none currently exist. Mm -hmm. So, Tavis, we get it. Mm -hmm. We get it, and that's where we are right now. And what we need, number one, is we need to make sure that our elders, our peers, those in the media, understand that, respect that, and realize that we're doing it differently. People talk about, first of all, our generation is going to be the most diverse generation this nation has ever seen. That does not mean we're post-racial. It means we have more racists to deal with. Mm. It means we have some more issues we have to tackle. It's not easier. It's different. So what we need from you is to understand that, to support us, and then to learn how we're doing it. Take advantage of the tools that we are using. We are using Facebook. It's not why I voted, but it helps. We are using technology. We are using the blogosphere. Let's not look at these things and disparage them as wacky toys. These are things that our generation holds very dear because we innovated and we're using these to advance our causes and the things that matter to us. That's where we are, Tavis. Thank you. Get that girl. Yeah. Get that girl. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So Van, um, Erica, 